Yeah! And welcome back to the Southern Snack where life is too short to be serious. All right, you can hear the sirens in the background, but I don't have time to worry about all that hoopla that's going around, right? Uh, we are doing a review on the new Starbucks winter items, or at least they're new to me. I don't re recollect them being on the menu. I wish I had the Valentine's cake pop, but unfortunately it didn't look like they had it. it. wasn't on the app or anything like that. So we're just wrong with what we got. I'm sure it's just either a chocolate or vanilla cake pop. Who really cares about that? Even though this menu's kind of basic if you ask me. Um, kind of on the vanilla side of things uh you know but anyways we're gonna try it and we'll, we'll explain what we've got so we've got the potato bakes the vanilla danish and the only new drink is the hazelnuts oat shaken espresso every time i get shaken espresso it don't matter what starbucks i go to it looks like a freaking latte at, at the point that i get it dude why are you parked behind me like you are goodness gracious some people just don't know how to park so now i can't back out which is fine i pull out straight anyways so uh yeah let's go ahead and try the hazelnut oat shaken espresso wow that's a lot of flavor that i did not expect and I love the pistachio, pistachio's back. I love the pistachio and I'll probably grab it. Not the review, but I'll probably grab it. This, mm-hmm. It's sweet, it's nutty. I'm not sure I get a lot of oat. I'm sure it's in there, but it's really a nice dynamic combination. And there was some drink I didn't quite remember um, specifically what I thought about it in terms of the combination of flavors, but I gave it like a 10 um, and I was like, hmm, what did I think of this drink? And then I looked at the review and I was like, whoa, I thought that. And that's where we're at with this. Again, we're, we were at a combination of so many interesting flavors that I wish I would have gotten a bigger drink. because it's nicely sweet but it's also robust and flavor with the coffee and the oat milk and the hazelnut and it is a very busy drink but it's very good very very good so for me i'm gonna have to personally give it a 10 out of 10 and uh, i don't hang on tens out easily but i think that just the dynamic flavor of this really works well so we're gonna move on to the potato bakes those are new for sure um again it looks like an egg bite with potato pieces and i'm really unsure about this but let's go ahead and try it anyways you know you never know until you try it hmm oh it's steaming but it's not hot it's just steaming looks like you got some mixed veggies in there i don't see any like meat i think that would really make this more flavorful it is like a hash brown casserole in a way you got but it's like you fuse, you fuse different kinds of casseroles. Like you got potato casserole or hash brown casserole mixed with just like an egg casserole. The cheese really adds a lot to it when the cheese comes in there. The first bite didn't really have a cheesy um, complexity to it. It was just mostly potato and egg. I think they could definitely step up with this, um, but I, I like where they're going. I like the blend of cheese that it has. I just don't think it quite spreads out through the whole thing as it should, but it still tastes quite good. Um, simple and enjoyable, but not like over the top great. So I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I think it, it really has some potential to be even better. Uh, but again, maybe throw in some meat or make it where the cheese is spread out a little bit better. All right, so this is the vanilla Danish. I'm not real sure how to explain it. It looks just like a Danish with like a vanilla cream. So we're gonna kind of break it and uh, we're gonna take a couple bites, right? As I got the like the texture of basically a croissant. Um, it's a nice, light, airy, slightly crispy pastry. I 
I wouldn't say like it's like a vanilla cream, uh, but it's definitely got that vanilla flavor to it. It's, I don't know if, I don't, I don't really know what to call it. Maybe kind of like a glaze in a way over top of the, over top of the Danish. Um, so I, I, I don't love it. It's okay. For me, personally, it, it, it's pretty good. Like, I would say it's pretty solid. Um, but there's not a lot to it, right? So, I, I'll say seven. I'll say seven. For me to say six, it's really got to be pushing it to, to the thing where it's bland. There's some, some qualities that really need some work. I wouldn't say this needs some work, but it's not like a, a, a pastry that's like, whoa, right? It's not going to make you go, whoa, but there's not much you can do to make it better. Maybe add some more of that vanilla make it a creamier kind of topping but there's nothing you could really do outside of that so that is my review i'm sticking to it and uh, starbucks hopefully we'll see you spring april may who knows i, I you, you you really were quiet last year for a long time uh it wasn't till like i don't even know if we did a fall review on them i think maybe one fall review and then we had uh, uh we did gingerbread so hopefully this year is louder prouder um i'm not gonna be proud uh but but you know but hopefully starbucks is gonna be more active and other than that i'll see y'all around